Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today, what I'm going to be doing is um, a wide body. So my car array has a wide body on it, but it's not the wide body fender I want. Um, at the back is um, what they call it again. Fender, what they call it again? Um, these fenders are the one that's over here. Oh uh, yeah, Origin Labo fenders are the rears, but the front are worth nines, so they don't really match and I don't really want that kit, so today we're going to be installing a new kit, um, a wide body fender, and it's pretty much the Kaguchi power fenders, so we got my boys over today, um, they're going to be assisting, I got my cameraman over here, John, John Nguyen, Got Michael, he's a plumber but he's good at cutting and got my mate Panda, he's hey. pretty much knows quite a bit about um, cars anyway and then got my dumb mate Val, he's probably in the toilet um, but yeah, we introduce him later Right, let's get to it <laughs> Why you sex big? <laughs> it's full My dick's big bro Makes sense This is Val <laughs> So what we'll be doing first is we'll be taking off the old fenders. Um, these are just held on by three, three nuts here. Um, two on the side. Um, we're gonna have to take the lip off for this one. And then over here, it's just uh, pretty much uh, tapper screws at the moment. Um, I'm not gonna put the body kit on completely until I get wider rims. So we're gonna be rebuilding these rims eventually but just not yet um so once we take this kit off we're gonna start lining it up and then we'll get it on the car. okay um so we're gonna need to take this bumper off first just to so when uh we take this off because right now it's attached to the lip um so we're gonna need to take this screw out just to get this fender off and then we're gonna try and line it up first with the bumper but first we'll just take the bumper off because it's easier that way um, the bumper should be a 12 to a 14. Pretty sure it's a 12. Let me. It's a 10. It's a 10. Alright, um, so then. Let's do a QA as well. QA? &A. Right. Fine, why'd you buy this car? Um. I wanted a change, you know. I don't really like um the 350 was fun for a while, but you know, I miss my spool. And I know the 32 was much more funner, but I wanted something in between the S chassis and the RV, so I got future plans for the engine, but that'll be in another video. <laughs> So what type of PVC pipes is this, Michael? Um, I fucking don't. <laughs> Please, this is a kids show. <laughs> It's uh, UPVC. Yep. It's a combination of different types of pipes. How much warranty? <laughs> oh fuck. How much warranty? warranty? Can you write uh, me up a quote? How much uh, for GST as well? GST, mate. Triple the price. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what it does is when these strings pull it, this kicks in. It's fucking, and it, it's fucking, it's fucking it's fucking it's fucking for your aircon, you dumb cunt. <laughs> aircon. 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 <laughs> Where's your turbo? Yep. Give me some right now. So this, have you installed a turbo timer yet? Uh, there was only a pre-installed turbo timer in this. 50 seconds? Yeah. I'll say it again. So now my mate uh, Panda is taking the screws off um, for the lip so we can detach this from um, the fender. Um, inside the fender wall, there's another extra two nuts 
Um, so you just need to open the door and it should be one here at the top. One in the loop. In the loop. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Yep. Alright, so once you take this off, then this front fender should be able to come out just a little bit tight in here. So once you got the two nuts out. Unless you're going to take up your fender, or your, your bump. Your bump. Alright, yeah, there's two. An extra, uh, there's an extra two nuts under here. Um, this will pretty much loosen it, but there's another nut inside here, but he put it in the opposite direction, so I can't reach it from this side, the nuts on this side. So I have to unscrew it somehow from here. Um, this in here will be attached by another two nuts over here. So right now this is pretty much loose, but I can't get into here. So I don't open up this one, so I need to get like an extension in here and get it out. So this one, what I did was I extended it with a uh, hand, uh, basically a handheld one. And you just get in here, there's a bolt. Right here, just some twister with your hand. So once, once that nuts out, you're from fine rubber. Get on. Pretty much. Off the gear. Can pretty much come out, but this is attached to this bumper, so you get access to it. It's just these two screws in here. Um. I think I might be able to get 10 in there. It's a little bit annoying. Where's the other end? I see it. Yeah, there's two. Keep turning. Two okay. left, left, left. Yeah, oh, mate. Can make you do a three point turn, mate? Ooh. Now clutch key. Come on, no, 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 no. Alright, um, so now, most of it's off. Just got the fucking screw in. Klein, you've been working out? Yeah, man. Get the lighting on his arms. Okay. Downlighting. Downlighting. So right here, that's the first thing. Oh, we're out of here. Fucking tab. One here, one there, one there, one there. There's too many. <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing we're off. Um, now we get the other side off. Uh, make sure if you're ever lowering your car, to bring this, to cut this wire off. Run it through here and run it up here. Yeah, that's still later. Alright, so this right here is the second fender. Pretty much off. Bang! Second fender. What's the sender? Get some money, bro. Get some money. Where's my money? Yeah, they're full of the proper. Yeah, they're, they're fucking full of touches, bro. It's still fun. Fucking awkward, bro. What now, Panda? Fuck it up. What's fun at that in there? Alright, this here is the Kikuchi Power Fender. It's 50 mils, so much more wire than the other one. Um, easiest way to install is probably put the top first, the front first. We didn't actually bother taking off the bumper, um, but that's alright. Just to line it up for now, and try to put in this. Uh, pretty much the nuts and holes. Might need to fill one, one more hole here. Huh? 
All right, guys, going to take an ad break. <laughs> All right, um, Twan's too busy drilling holes, so we're going to take off the back one now. We got Panda doing the work. What from the top? What? what? This? What? Yeah. Why the fuck would you take it off? If you did it. It's good. What's your one? So it's super glued on to one. They glued on. Actually? Mm -hmm. Oh it's shit, it is. Yeah, it's glued on, brother. Wait, double side tape. It's fucking glued, bro. Wait, double side tape. That's the guy, dude. Are you ready? Oos. All right, this is the other side now. It's very simple, guys. It's just a bunch of screws. This is the antenna hole, and they didn't really paint it, so that was just um, spraying primer on it, so it doesn't rust through. That's the basic gist of it. You should probably sand it down first before he <laughs> primer it, but it's alright. Doesn't matter. Um, this one's already gotten spray painted on. How this hole? So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The fucking, you gotta angle that bro, you're gonna get fucking on the door. Just wipe it quickly. Over here, Bell. Huh? Oh, he's on the tape and shit. Handling me up, that's cute. You need a cup of garbage. You need a cup of garbage glass. You need a cup of garbage glass. Yeah. Because I'm going to cook up the night. That's like a lighter. What do you mean? You might better fill up, guys. Third bubble. <laughs> Get rid of the fuel cup. <laughs> you don't need fuel. Relocate the fuel. Relocate it. What sensor is what sensor is there in that one? Move up probably back now. Hmm? That doesn't line up the other side. Oh, yeah. You're close up to there. Yeah? You're like it there? Well yeah, there we go. Yeah, but I wasn't all the way up at the top on the other side. You're top on my side. You find the window where I see. Oh yeah, it was. There's only one of them. Heaps water. So then, 50 mil? Yeah. Something like that, eh? In the grinder.
just pretty much um, widened some of the holes because this kit is mainly, the front is mainly for probably type X's, um, not really the pig noses. The pig nose has like an extra few holes, so you just gotta drill it and then try to get it to fit. So once you adjust that a little bit, just let me adjust that. Alright, so now, as you can see, it's following the body line. Um, once we screw the lips in, the nuts, um, this is pretty much the first fender on. Um, and pretty much just the other one on the other side. So you can adjust all the knots in here. Do the other side now. Tighten all the bolts in. Tell them what they're doing. I gotta pull the fuel cap because um, it's not opening up. So what you need to do is grind like around the top here, like more here, and then just back there. much grinding this back um, so we can kind of like open the field door for now um, this is only temporary this won't be on forever like obviously I'm gonna give it to a um, paint shop to get it like fitted properly um, but for now we're just going to tap the screw on and then go from there Are you back? Hey. 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 So this side's much more easier. You don't really need to feel, uh, measure it to any fuel cap. Can just send this ones in. You put you put um, dual compressor on each side, then one massive tank. Is it dual compressor or single? Yeah. Bring it down a little bit more. Wow, I don't think I've my 
Marvel pushed out down here. Clutch kick. So I just spaced the wheels out and this is what it looks like now. We did the guard so we can open up the fuel cap all the way. Damn, look at that fitment. <laughs> 